that I was watching that on live when they did that at the NASA website. Uh, I don't know. Well, I know what it was. It's just another one of these. Every comet we've seen is just a, a ship, actual, just a alien carriers are what they are. They carry these unlucky giants. Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I just haven't even thought about it, right, you know, since then. I know I had comments about it after it happened. Uh, so that's something that I'd have to do a little bit of back research on to give an answer on that. Uh, another question for the show. Sure, do you think martial law or the ID card will come first? I was just wondering when you think they will start going door to door and taking away weapons. If so, are we to fight them with the weapons to prevent them from taking them, or should we turn them over? You know what? If enough people blast them when they come to the door for the weapons, they'll stop coming to doors. <laughs> I don't know what will come first, martial law or the ID card. Because I always thought that martial law would come as a means of panic and necessity at first. You know, a big plague outbreak, uh, circling the wagons, calling martial law in certain cities uh, because of plagues or whatever. At a time of crisis, they'll bring about martial law. So, I, uh, of course, the other the other foot on the other bag, uh, the shoe on the other foot, better way of saying it, uh, is the fact that martial law breaks out because of anarchy and chaos in the streets. And, of course, we see them trying to implement that one by arming uh, the, the black gangs in California. And they had armed the Bloods and the Crips to get uh, up the hood with elect, uh, machine guns. And now they're bringing in the Mexicans uh, and their dangerous gangs from Mexico and arming them. It's our CIA that arms all these gangs, folks. Make no, mis you know, make no mistake about it. Uh, so our government's been trying to get a martial uh, anarchy thing going. Uh, race war riots was very well part of their plan in bringing about uh, these last days prophecies of having martial law here in America. Race wars was one of their plans, and they haven't given up on it. Uh, that's why the borders are so lax and why the president looks the other way, because they're all working out the same script together, folks. Uh, so, if they, you know, they're going to try and incite wars between American citizens and Mexicans. They want race wars here in America that would trigger martial law. Or if they can't get that, then they'll do uh, plague outbreaks that will trigger martial law. Uh, and so, you know, there's various different ways. And that's why I say you just have to look at it on a day-to-day, -day, play play-by-play analysis <laughs> of what they're doing, what, which trick they're pulling out of their bag, uh, because they've covered all the bases. And so you don't know exactly which route they're going to take until you see them taking it. You know, that's why I'm constantly just looking back and watching what they're doing. Uh, and for those of you who like to look at my name in the Bible codes, you'll always see the word anal analyst uh, with my name. Because uh, that's what I do. I sit back and analyze what's going on so that I can figure, I, you know, I, I know their plans so that when I see what they're doing, then I can warn the Lord's people exactly which route they're going. Uh, because there's three to five routes at any one time that these Satan freaks can take uh, to conquer and destroy the world and enslave all the rest of us. And so, yeah, I do believe, I do know martial law is coming. I just don't know which route that they're going to take until it gets here, until they actually pull it out of the bag and, uh, and use it, because there's several different routes they're working on to get us there. Uh, there's a question. Most Christians forget we fight against principalities and powers, not flesh. Satan keeps us battling the flesh. Do you agree? Uh, yeah. Uh, spiritual warfare uh, warriors uh, will know. Uh, exactly. The thing about that, though, is we're so used to saying, oh, we're just fighting against Satan and his demons. And what you're forgetting is that we've got a military armed with high-tech technology uh, that's creating a lot of the problems that used to just be left to Satan and his demons. I mean, you used to just think, okay, I'm getting attacked by awful, sinful thoughts. That must be Satan. And here it's somebody sitting in a government office with his little box on his desk. <laughs> well, their underground base or their satellites with their, uh, their, you know, satellite technology 
we're dealing with things that people on this earth have never dealt with in the history of mankind. That's the kind of weapons we're dealing with. Uh, and it does come down uh, when it comes to warfare. Uh, if you're battling Satan and you're rebuking him and you're rebuking his demons and it's still not stopping the attacks, then you have to take it to another level and go after the, the military and the humans behind the attacks uh, that are being caused on you. Because uh, they have a big program, a big push in this country to enslave uh, men into homosexuality and pornography. A big push on that uh, to enslave men to their own thoughts. And men are afraid to speak of these things. And I hear from men a lot on this. Uh, they're afraid to talk about it. They think, oh, it's just you know, these simple thoughts I'm having and, and stuff. They're being enslaved by technology to become a homosexual. And so, folks, don't fall for it. You know, we have to wage war against uh, these high-tech weapon attacks. You know, if they're not getting you trying to kill you with headaches and s heart attacks and strokes and brain aneurysms, they're going to try to morally destroy you. Uh, by destroying the very foundation you've built your life on, which is with the Lord uh, and with your family. Because, you know, breaking up the family unit in the, in the whole world, especially America, has always been one of their big targets. And so that's why they push uh, the gay agenda. That's why it's so big. Uh, it was bigger in Britain. Now it's big here. You'll also see these trends. Uh, what starts in one country eventually moves to the next. Uh, everywhere. And so... You know, the gay agenda, yeah, it's Satan's agenda, but it's also our military that helps enforce it because they're enslaving the thoughts and the minds of men and women across this country uh, into becoming homosexuals and lesbians. Uh, so, yeah, you're not always just a fighting Satan and his demons. Uh, sometimes you just have to learn how to fight the, the military and the high-tech weapons that are formed against you. <laughs> And it's a whole new level of warfare. And I have these warfare prayers at my website, thewatcherfiles.com. Uh, you can go there, uh, put in search box for warfare prayers. CIA uh, also brings drugs in, drugs and guns. This is how they account for the need for more prisons. Yeah, I mean, the CIA, the government, uh, if you never listened to any of these people that have been grown, brought up inside these bloodline Illuminati families. Uh, you know, I've heard from several of them that the actual position of the Vice President of the United States is actually the top drug czar in the country. <laughs> he runs all the drug operations from the Vice President's office. That's the Vice President's job, is to oversee all the drug operations in the United States. And so all this drugs, you know, war against drugs and everything is just a, a, a lie and a facade to make the American people think the government's trying to protect them from drugs uh, because they're the ones bringing it in through the CIA and the Air Force and the Navy. They're the ones bringing it in. Uh, they make a lot of money, billions of dollars off the selling of drugs uh, to fund all these underground bunkers that they have, all these underground bases, all these black projects that they have, all the money they needed to develop these high-tech weapons to turn you into a th uh, walking and talking zombie and have been paid for by the illegal drug sales, illegal drug money, uh, gun sales, weapons. Uh, it's not just the mob making a killing off this. The government's been at it for years. Uh, and so, yeah, yeah, I've always said, you think the government's won't actually...